Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Year One Only, and welcome to Valiant Force. Now, this is a game that I've been playing ever since it was like released. I just got so sucked into it that I just have not even thought about making a video on this. And it's been a while since I've actually done like, you know, like showing off different games and gameplays. I'm gonna try and get back on that since I have sort of a like a loose schedule now for like uploading videos. And I'm not really dedicated to like too many games right now so I got free time to actually keep going so they recently had an update to where they updated the UI and everything and added in another character King Doctor and pretty much changed a lot of things and added a few things so this was actually pretty much a major update so I'm gonna get into it and we're gonna see what all they have to offer and at the end of the video I will be doing a summoning now I have been playing this game like a lot and it's been like probably six to no nah, probably not six probably like four to five months now since this game's been out if anything i would say probably four to three actually but if you guys are wondering what the game's like it's basically how do i explain it's kind of like a tactics game but it's a little bit different so it does have like the tactics feel to it, but it's pretty much enemy on one side, you on the other side. Then you move your characters to fight. I'll show um, a example of it once we start getting to this new event that's here. Oh, they give us the tutorial now. What the hell? Uh, sure, I'll do it. Alright, so there's a new daily event. So this is free trials. Okay, so this is probably for like uh, the skill points. Yeah, the talent points that you have to put into your character. This is going to be interesting. So this is the trial of talents. All right. The Valiants are kind of the strongest units in the game, apparently. They say that, but they're actually throwing in stronger units than them so far. So it's going to be interesting to see how they evolve as the game goes. So here are pretty much like the rewards you have a chance of getting versus like on each day. Today's Thursday, so today, Thursday is the Mystics. Mystics are pretty much mages, healers are just healers, and then the Rangers. So yeah, a lot of different classes in the game. Not a whole bunch though. Alright, so what's this? A token? That's new? Alright, let's go ahead and go through it. So there are, wait, hold up. There are challenges, but you cannot do them all in like one battle. You Once you complete this, you have to go back in and complete this. Then you have to go back in and complete this. You can't do it all in one, which does suck a lot. So this is my team. If you guys are wondering what the arrows are, this is pretty much Aura. So Aura pretty much gives buff to anybody the arrow is like pointing to. So you gotta pretty much come up with a team that can actually like connect to everyone so as for example this character Sora her aura is pretty much anybody who is inside of her like auras these little squares here will give her a chance to unleash a crit attack on an enemy but it's a 35% chance so basically, if she attacks, I have a 35% chance of hitting a crit with her. And when he attacks, I have a 35% of getting that crit too. If I summon a unit or another player like in front of me right here, since the arrow is pointing this way, then I can also get a crit off that. As long as they're inside of my aura. So if I if somebody's below me, I won't get that chance of like getting the crit because they're not in my aura. So the game is like really strategy based. So let's go ahead and show off. I'm not really sure what this trial is going to have, but you can also bring in items that you can craft down the road. And it's sort of like a building your own castle type of game too. So yeah, that's another thing. And plus you can also get like these limited time items from like events too. So I'm not really sure what like events that's going on right now. But we're going to go ahead and see how Trial Tower goes. Alright. I'm going to turn off auto. Alright, so it seems like they added in the speed up bar. 
it's actually about time they added this because um, before this update, it was this times two was actually on the auto. So you, if you wanted to go faster and end up the matches like way quicker, you had to have auto on. So I could just put it at any speed that I want now, and that's a pretty cool update. I'm gonna move up because these guys are like pretty far back. And as you guys can see, oh god, oh my, yeah he's actually pretty weak. I'm actually planning on replacing him anyway. So as you guys saw, when I moved these three up, these guys lost the ability to get the auras from these two. So if I was to move them up, they're linked again, just because they're touching. They have to be inside the square, like right behind them, or if they literally have to be in the squares that are right next to them. So no splitting up. And there we go. It triggered. And because of that, his his ability triggered too. Now, if I want to expect him and see pretty much what went on there, when allies are hit inside of the aura, there is a 50% chance that this character will trigger a 50% damage of his magic damage as poison damage for two turns. So that does sound really annoying. Alright, he died. Too bad. I'm pretty sure we can wrap up here. And if you guys are wondering what these numbers are, these numbers are actually um, skills. So you gotta wait certain turns until your skill activates. This down here is how many turns you get, and right here is how many items you got from that, and how many cards you got from it. So the game is fairly simple and straightforward. My team isn't all the best right now, and it's actually really easy to level up in this game. This game got a major overhaul because before it did not look like this at all. They changed the art style and everything. It used to be more like cartoonish UI, if anything. Alright, thank you for that. Wait, what? Is this a repeatable? Or is it. Oh, no, never mind. This is something else. Oh, huh, interesting. Behold, the Prosperity Path. Lovely, isn't it? A game of chance and prosperity, perfect for adventurers like you. You start from the top of the tree. Every prosperity coin you use takes one random step for Okay. Downward, so I have a chance of getting these down here. I wonder what that one is. Wait, I want to... No, I didn't want to, like, spin yet. Give me the gold, if anything. Thank you. I can re-roll, or... No, I'm good. I'm not going to re-roll that. Screw that. Wasn't that fun? No, not really, because they're crappy prizes off the start. <laughs> now you can claim your prize from the roll. You can all... You can reroll if you wish, but it'll cost gems. Then it doesn't tell me if it like goes up each roll. Next time you play, pick up where you left off. Remember that. Okay, so everything resets every Monday, so it's pretty much like a whole week thing. All right, that's pretty interesting. I like that. Considering that Monday is coming up real soon, I don't think we're all gonna be. No, getting much off that. What is this? Hand to game enhance when used. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Hundred gems. What is this? A four star. All right, some of these prizes look pretty decent. I would love the phoenix, so I'm gonna hope for me getting that. All right, some standard rewards. Nothing like extremely special, to be honest. As for this event that's going on, 
I would love to see it. So this is the event. So everything does get a lot harder as you continue on, and uh, I'm not even exaggerating that. Like, it actually gets really harder. And they also have, like, these special items going on. Token of Strength. Use this in combat to buff one target. Attack increases by 35% for one turn. So, if anything, you will collect a lot of those. So this is gonna probably be an interesting event. Let's do the first one at least. Let's pick a random person to help us. We're gonna take this in, just in case. And if you guys want to increase your like drop rate and see pretty much the items you can get from here. Everything right here is like rewards. So I don't really need to like um, lose my chance because nothing right there is good. It's pretty much if you get that lucky chance of like actually beating something that is like extremely hard. It takes off the farming for like at least three times. This is the new character, Arthur, so yeah. I don't know who she is. Never seen her before. I kinda having the urge to skip the dialogue. I was. Get out of my way. Like, he, he is sort of like a glass cannon at the moment. And I'm pretty sure I could finish these guys up. Yeah, let's just skip through this. Just because we're not here to read dialogue right now. <laughs> And plus, there are some daily quests that also gives you, like, coins as well, which I will show you guys right now. So these are all the daily quests. Once you complete them all, you get 15 gems. So it's pretty much a source of never running out of gems. And then you got all these rewards right here from your, like, achieving things. And you ha pretty much have the guide quest to where you have to finish, like, all of these, like, challenges and everything. And once you get to the end, you get, like, extremely better prizes. Like, it's ridiculous how many good prizes you get from here. But, it wasn't all that bad. Because you get all this once you complete all of them. I was just hoping for a little bit more from the final one. Alright, and plus you have event quests for, like, however long the event is, you have that time limit to actually do all these and you get like certain prizes at the end of it so so yeah they're definitely worth to try and complete at least i'm going to try and complete as many as i can if anything at least four of them is the ones i can complete actually i'll probably be able to complete this you know what let's just do that summoning right now then actually hold on did everything go in here yeah everything went into my bag Alright, let's do this summon. I'm really hoping for King Arthur. So, let's see if we actually meet that. Alright, I got a blue out of it. I'm pretty sure greens are threes. But you still have a chance of like getting uh, legendary out of the greens. Alright, I got a base three. Oh, well, we got King Arthur. There we go. There we go, guys. <laughs> like I was saying, you have a chance of getting him. He just won't be like five stars or anything like magnificent. So anything's a possibility inside of like summoning. So we got what we wanted. Sweet. Anything else? Base three. Base three. And another base 3. God darn it. So many base 3s. I mean, at least we got King Arthur. I'm happy with that, at least. And what is this for? Okay, just a monster for food. <laughs> this last one is... And a base 4. Well, at least we got at least a 5. And those Valiant Shards that you guys just saw... I'm happy for that. 
are pretty much okay yeah this is one of the things i hate so much is that they have so many offer pages like so many annoying games do and those uh valiant shards well valiant knight you can use to buy like all of these unique things i've only spent like probably five bucks on this game and that's pretty much it that's why i'm prestige uh two i don't plan on using like any more money on it to be honest because you know that was just when i was trying to get like you know some free stuff why there was like a really good offer going on so you can also get like event characters if you just save up i'm gonna save up the 20 for an next event and roll my luck on that i could get a five star but it's not a guarantee that you will get a good one so I would prefer if you guys didn't go down this route and get enough 5 star. If anything, I would save and wait for the new characters that come out and get a guarantee of getting them through the event hero selector. So yeah, if you guys are also looking for good gear, these are also here. And also there's more characters you can get right here as well. No, some of the standard good ones, they're, they're alright. They're not the best in the game, but they're alright. To be honest, I wish I would have thought of saving up the, uh, the 20 at the time. Because there were so many characters that I actually wanted that I've already passed that I have a low chance of getting now. Because, you know, summoning is just basically like Russian roulette. You never know what you're going to get. Just as much as you and the wishing well. Even though this Wishing Well is actually pretty decent versus other games that really don't have like huge successful rates, this one actually gives you a real good chance of getting 25 or anything actually good. Even though it does play with your emotions a little bit. <laughs> but trust me, this Wishing Well is like a lot better than the other ones you will see in games. I also have a guild going on, the Owl Kings. You know, we're we're doing all right for now. We're almost level 20. Yeah, and plus I gotta do the raid. We go ahead and get some of our guild points, and I'll do the raid later on. So the game is pretty unique. It has a lot of like strategies and different characters that you can put in. All characters have different auras. And not only that, that's not even the bread and butter of it. Your characters also have different classes they can go down. There's two routes they can go down. So, as with Sora, she has the path of a ninja or assassin. So, let's take a look at assassin versus ninja. Ninja, I chose her just because of the low cooldown. Oh, if I was to choose this Sora, the assassin one, she would have like four cooldown and this one's actually a lot more unique than that one so her ninja skill basically gives her a 60 percent chance of dodging attacks and the pet also has 60 percent of her base attack and also the pet is stealthed as he goes in so you can also look at the pet stats as well miss moon panther and you can also look at his skills. So basically he has two turns into his cooldown is done that he can use the skill. And his skill is he sacrifices himself and switches positions with an ally. And also that ally becomes stealth whoever he switches with. So it's actually a really good skill. So not only that summoners are actually pretty unique in this game just because summoner pets have a passive. And this pet has a 35% chance gives a 100% chance of silencing an enemy for one turn. So that can actually save your rear end sometimes. So yeah, there's also runes to make your character a little bit more powerful. As for Assassin, she doesn't get all the things that uh, Ninja does, so she doesn't get the dodge or anything, but her pet does receive 60% of her damage and also gets stealth for 3 turns instead of 2. And her passive is this hero and the allies that are inside of her aura gain a 
35% chance of dodging attacks. So she does get a chance of dodging, but it's not 60%. It's actually 35% and she shares it with everyone. So that's also good to go for an assassin. But her pet, on the other hand, is way different from the other one. This one is the Glimmering Panther, and he sacrifices himself and deals magic damage equal to 150% of the character's attack to enemies. You can also see how the skill is going to act, so it's going to hit everybody in a straight line. And it also has a 1% chance of silencing an enemy for 2 turns. So he also has a passive attack, and it has a 75% chance on attack. To deal with a magic attack equals to 40% of the pet's attack for one turn. So I would probably call that pretty much a bleed for one turn. So yeah, you have different routes for each character, especially the ones who are fives. And some of them are so unique that they can actually go up to four classes. It's just that you have to have um, well, you have to have promotion badges, and these promotion badges can be won by story. So I will show you guys in a story how to get your job badges. So there's pretty much different job badges. One of them is Knight, and other ones are Crusades. So whichever path you're wanting to go down is the one you will collect. So, let's look for an example. Uh, where is Leon? There he is. So, for example, if I wanted him to go down the Crusader route, I would have to use Crusader Relics. If I wanted him to go down the Blood Knight route, I would have to use these uh, Xenolot Relics. So yeah, there's different types of relics that you guys are going to have to farm for whichever route you want to go down. So another one is Hunter and another one is Marksman. So I'm going to actually uh, put in some of this stuff to this character since these are all base. Since these all are pretty much base, I could just go ahead and throw all of these in. These trainings actually increase your stats. And there we go. Luckily we got 100% on that. So, if I wanted to go down this route, I have to have the character max and I have to have training 100%. So you can only promote your character if you have a plus 2. So for example, if I... where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There she is. This is the replacement warrior I'm going for. So if I was to actually have her max, I could have actually done this by now. So I don't have her to any plus, so I actually have to work on that. So I have to keep training her, and plus she gets bonus stats for it as well. I don't want to waste like anything like major right now showing you guys this. I think I learned this game before anything. And now I can go to plus one. So pretty much you gotta max training three times before you can actually promote a character. So when that happens, let me just get her to max. Now she is max and now I can make the character that I was after. Actually, I was after this one, but, you know, that works out too. And now she's been promoted. There's so many strategies you can work with, and so many things you can go for. And I just finished another quest. Let me go ahead and collect that. And I'll also do uh, an opening of it. Where is it? Grab this. wonder what it could be. Oh, it's her again. Alright, I'll use her as a limit break. 
me just grab these first. But guys, that's pretty much the game. There's a lot of other things as well, like different challenges and everything. And with whole building and everything, I keep uh, advancing this and getting more stats off these like towers that you have a chance of getting around like the higher levels. Which like I said, is actually pretty easy to level in this game, especially if you continue doing the dailies. They give you like so much XP. Give it a whole week to make it to at least level 40 or 50 depending on how much you do and if you complete this fast enough because this also gives XP now and then as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and tried the game for yourselves. It's definitely a game to give a try and to then I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.